Good afternoon. It is 12.25 on 12.25 on Sunday the 26th of August 2018 and I have just got back from a very soggy Sunday car boot sale. I'm all alone at the moment but hopefully some of you will pop in there. Scooby Shaggy and Claire Riley. Hello, I'm no, no longer alone. Missy Moo, good afternoon everybody. Um, my usual, Mrs. Happy Dappy Michelle, come right. My usual, never ever cancelled, always on, regardless of what happens. You can always guarantee it'll be happening. Car boot sale, cancelled. <laughs> um, uh, good morning, death. Good afternoon, sorry, death by Glemma and Carrie. Yeah, so never ever cancels this one. I, I've said to you before, it's indoors in the barns. They don't need to cancel it in bad weather. However, they had rented out the sheds for some other thing, and we're going to have it outside. And then the uh, weather forecast was so bad they decided they'd have to cancel so i went to cheddar instead now i don't normally go to cheddar uh good morning kimberly al zatik jason entwistle Catherine mcconnell carrie sam's who, who's in a nice warm bed at half past 12 you lazy mare um sas guest maria clark and deb hi everybody <laughs> good afternoon can't believe you're still in bed sam get up get up and do something <laughs> so uh, uh Catherine Graham, good afternoon and t suzanne davis hi everybody so yeah, I went to Cheddar. Don't normally go to Cheddar. Now Cheddar is a massive boot sale and in the summer it's definitely worth going to in decent weather. Um, but because I have two pretty good ones locally and it's a Sunday and it's a good trek from me, I don't normally bother going. However, because there were no local ones today, I decided we'd make the effort. I didn't get a lot. It was, um, we were suffering from the weather down there, definitely. Hi, Ali Antin, Can Copper Kettle Glass Pan Fernley. Um, hi, Jill. And hi, Heather the Treasure Pirate. So, yeah, we're definitely um, suffering from the after effects of the weather down there. And all of the outdoor pitches were closed and gone home. So they have two large sheds at Cheddar, but they are quite a lot of them are market store traders rather than traditional car booters. I did get some stuff though. A small, a small haul. Hi, Lex. Sorry, I've got something in my trouser leg. You know when you can feel something in your jeans? and I don't know what it is, like a piece of thread or something, but it's really annoying me. So tiny, tiny haul time. I did get from one of the antique dealers, and I was surprised to get it for this price, a large Le Creuset ooh, oval casserole with lid. If I drop this, I'll know about it. Um, it's old and tired. Really is old and tired, and it's going to require some cleaning up. Um, it's a size D oval casserole. Pretty burnt on the inside. Might have to, uh, might have to enlist the help of... Caroline and Phil of the Celtic Traders for the best way to clean that up. But it was a fiver, and I just thought I'd give it a chance for a fiver, you know. Uh, Lex says it's not me, she's not in my jeans yet. <laughs> um, no, I didn't get any cheese, Catherine. Uh, Catherine McConnell says it's cold and windy in France, but no rain at the moment. And Alzatic says seller's market today at my boot sale. Dreary weather. I only picked up a few bits. Mo good morning. Good afternoon. Sorry, Moobin's Road. I wish I knew what this was, was my trouser leg. It's annoying me. They're too tight to go up from the bottom and find out. And it's a bit obvious, isn't it, going in from the top on live on air? I'm going in. Oh, we're. It's a bit of tissue. There we go. That's that sort of That was annoying me. Heather says it's pissing down with rain, so she stayed home. I did get this. This is Duck from Sarah and Duck. Now, some of them online have gone for up to 50 quid, although this is a tiny one. They seem to come in various different sizes. When you squeeze him, he quacks. But um, Kat says, love it. Come into your chat and get my first sale of the day. Great, I could do with a couple. So he's a little bit grubby, needs a bit of a clean up. And because he quacks, he can't go in the washing machine. So he's going to have to be a wet wipe job. And I don't know how much this size gets, but he was gonna get, he's definitely going to get more than 50p. So it's just a shame he's not the big 12 inch one and they go for 50 odd quid. So there we go, that's Duck. So as guest says, it's raining here. Um, it's raining here now, but got a good haul at Carboot early this morning. Oh, Al's Attic says, Barkeeper's Friend. See video by Tom the English Picker. Thank you, I will check that out. And uh, Saz Guest says, I sold him for £40 with new with tags. What is this, that this size, Saz Guest? He's plainly not new with tags. He is grubby. He is he's six inches from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. Four inches across his wingspan, so... I don't know if that's the same size. Yeah, Al's Attic's also saying 40. That's amazing, isn't it? But yeah, you need to clean it. He's on the floor now. That's it. Dead, dead duck. Excellent. 40 quid will do me nicely. That will make today's journey worthwhile. Fantastic. 
there really isn't much else. Those are my two sort of top picks of the day. And like I said, I've got to get that Le Creuset cleaned up if it's going to be worth anything. Lex <laughs> Oliver's like 40 quid for a freaking duck. <laughs> Carrie says, hoping it'll be better for boot sales tomorrow. Yes, the Easter Compton one is, is on tomorrow. So Catherine Graham is shooting herself in the foot because of why I see it all the time and have never picked him up. And Karen said, how much? You sound like you're from Bristol, Karen. How much? I got another set of these. Now, the ones I bought a couple of weeks ago were in the suede case, which is slightly nicer. This is the pink leatherette case. And it doesn't um, it doesn't stand up so well to use. You know, the, the strap's a little bit buggered there. Sorry, I haven't shown you what they are. These are the bendy rag rollers. But um, I paid... One fifty, maybe two pounds, and I should be able to get twelve to fifteen. So, you know, needs must when there isn't a lot available. Uh, Karen says, just got back from meet up with Claire King. She's lovely, and we both got some bargains. Excellent. Uh, Saska says, always buy CBeebies plush if it's cheap. Some are rare and sought after. See, the problem is I don't know anything about CBeebies. My children are old, so I don't watch children's programs. I've no idea what's popular anymore. And Catherine McConnell says, hot water and a drop of bleach to clean my Le Creuset. Well, I'll try that first, and if that doesn't work, I'll go and get some barkeeper's friend. These were a pound each. I got two. They're the body shop. Uh, two of the vitamin C energizing face spritz. If you've never used this, this is lovely. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I want to sell them, I'd be cracking them open and having a squirt because it's really, really nice and refreshing. Number jacks, I have heard of those. I've never seen one. <laughs> Heather says the rag rollers look like instruments of torture, three hours to put in to end up looking like crystal tips. <laughs> um, yeah, so these, when when you buy them in the body shop, I think they're £14 each. So I don't know what I'll get for them, but more than a quid. And I also got some of the Nutriganics Smoothing Serum. I think Mrs. M uses this. I'm sure she's mentioned the Nutriganics stuff before. And I think that's 16 when you buy it from the body shop, and that was a pound. So um, worth a shot. Three books, 50p each. Bookkeeping for dummies. I don't need it, but somebody's bound to, aren't they? It does say bonus CD. Oh, yeah, the bonus CD is included. It didn't feel like it was. But yeah, bookkeeping for dummies. Somebody will want it. And a Slimming World Christmas and Slimming World Free Foods. They were 50p each. Funny enough, they were at the bottom. I picked up the bookkeeping for dummies and saw these afterwards. It's got a sticker on. I can get the sticker off. No problem. So these are always, always worth looking at. As I says, look up Neep from Abney and Teal. I will look at that. Hi, DM. I will look that up. I've never heard of Neep. What, what, what creature is Neep? So, yeah, two Slim World books, 50p each. Bookkeeping book, 50p. Shoes for a quid. They're my size, and I do need some new Black Valley flats, so I might keep these. They're only Primark. They're Primark wide fit. <clears throat> and I've, having put on my Black Valley flats last night's go out and discovered they're all split down one side. I thought I might uh, grab those. Hi, Neville. Carrie's done really well with Slim World books this week. Deb says, when you squeeze the duck, I'm expecting Buddy to do his nut. He's in the room. No, not a flicker. He's literally staring at me going, what? I don't care. I'm not scared of a duck. Uh, Heather says, I had a neep. It was brilliant. I've never seen one since. And Lex, uh, Lex says, Carla, leopard print. You are very autumn blogger trend. Well, of course, always on trend. Or just I was chilly and got something warm out. Neep is a turnip. Hi, hi um, Chris Gotts. And hi, Mel, who says she's 38 from Sparrow's End. Uh, no, sorry, I've lost track. Hi, Julie Halil. Hi, Cats Rants. I'm sorry if I've missed anyone. It's not deliberate. Did I say hello to Neville? Hi, Neville. Um, Karen, Karen says, I got myself a vintage travel iron with a beautiful baker like floral handle for my sewing shelf. And Chris Gotts from Tat on the Time says, Afternoon Carlo and Company. Neep is a turnip. Looks like a rampant rabbit. Good money in it. I must look, I must look that up. Hi, Janet. <laughs> and hi, Tess, who says, Hi, Carlo. I missed everything. No. Um, well, yes, but only because there wasn't anything much. It was a tiny, tiny, you've missed a bit. I've, I've, I've a Crusade dish and some rag rollers and some books and a duck and some shoes. That's what you've missed. Still on the Slimming World books, there's another one. I've got Slimming World Extra Easy all in one. This was 50p, I think. Might have been 20p. I'm not sure now. Somebody's turned down the corners of the recipes they like. Why do people do that? Stick a post it note in like a regular civilized human being. Turning down corners on books. 
Al's attic says he's, she's not sure what rampant rabbit Chris Gotts has got. <laughs> With Chris Gotts, it could be anything. That bit of hair is really annoying me. Is it pissing everyone else off as well? I can't even find it. There it is. I'm tuck it behind me here. There we go. And 20p for uh, Deathly Hallows Part 1. I've probably got more Hallows Part 1s than I've got any other now. I keep thinking I'll just buy that because that's the hard one to find. And, um, yeah, I've probably got more of these than anything. It did get soggy. It's all soggy on the top, so the water must have got in the top of the trolley. It was a very wet day. But it'll dry out. It'll dry out. Karen, Karen says, oh, hi, Miriam. Karen says, I find Slimmer World go fast, but have Weight Watchers ones that ain't going in. Same here. I've got bundles of Weight Watchers stuff that I can't shift at all, and the Slimmer World are, are selling fine. And then that's Anthony's DVD that he bought. So they were three for a pound. Anthony's got one, then I've got these two, because I'm still trying to complete a Family Guy bundle. I don't know how many seasons of Family Guy there are. I don't seem to be able to find anything past eight, and I don't know if that's because they stopped at eight or whether I've just not found any yet. I should check, shouldn't I? And then I would know what I was talking about. Tylen Heron's in. Hi, Tylen Heron. And uh, Lex is flirting. Uh, two of the Philip Pullman Northern Lights trilogy for Natalie Jenkins, who isn't watching. Uh, Catherine says you can get Weight Watchers books in the shops, but a Slim and World only at meetings, so hard to come by. That makes sense. Um, there are three in this trilogy. I don't know what, don't know, what are they? Northern Lights, The Subtle Knife, and something else. What's the third one called, people? Uh, anyway, Natalie asked me to look out for these. And so when I saw them, I got them. Oh, the Amber Spyglass, that's the other one I need. And then that'll be the full set that Natalie asked for. They're not an actual matching bookshelf beautiful set, but she won't care. And because the books were three for a pound, I bought the one for 50p from somebody else, and then the books were three for a pound, so I got a couple of roll dolls to bundle up as well. And the water definitely got in the top of my trolley because they're soggy. I don't know what I've missed. Oh, Family Guy's gone up to 16 series. Why can't I find anything past eight then? How odd. Amber Spyglass. Yeah, that's the last one I need. Yeah, I've got the Subtle Knife and the Northern Lights, so I need the Amber Spyglass. That's Natalie. Natalie asked me to look out for them. So. Tess says, I got up at 5am and managed to get around the two car boots and home before the rain started here. Bought some silver jewellery for the first time. Felt really grown up to be buying silver at a car boot sale. <laughs> last thing. Last thing from today's car boot haul is a little ballet set. Um, it's only a next one, but blue ballet crossover cardigan, leotard. And the blue tutu skirt, which is in need of some love and attention because it's all bunched up and and foobard. So I'll sit there and mess with that later. Oh, Lex says that his Dark Materials TV series is currently being filmed in Cardiff. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that needs a bit of... There we go. It's had a bit. Probably needs a bit more. But yeah, I paid a pound for this, so somebody will want that for their little girl, won't they? And that's it. That's all I got from the car boot. So that is a tiny haul, isn't it? Bye. <laughs> Do you want to see what I got in the charity shop yesterday? Another tiny haul. Although I'm pleased with this. 5,000 piece jigsaw puzzle from Falcon. Now the last 5,000 piece jigsaw puzzle I had sold for £145. This one's not so great. This one should go for about 40 But I paid 50p. And no, I won't be counting the pieces. I'll just be praying. There's no point counting the pieces on jigsaw puzzles for the larger numbers because it is an approximate number. So if you count them and go, oh, there's 4,998, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not complete. The only way to know it's complete is to do it, which I won't be doing because I don't like jigsaws. And plus, because it'll be too damn big. I haven't got a table. Everybody's blaming Karen for stuff, I think. But yeah, so if I get 40 odd quid for it, I'll be happy. And this is a Disneyland Resort Paris shirt. It's a men's shirt. This was a pound. It's got Mickey. It's got Mickey on the pocket there. I've never seen a men's Disney shirt before. And I thought for a quid, I'd get it. Catherine Graham says, I found out yesterday my sister is having a baby boy. They've been trying for 10 years. And after failed IVF, fell pregnant naturally in June, due the end of January, going to be an auntie. Congratulations. Karen says her weekly vlog is one hour, 30 minutes long. Should I split it in two? 
Have you already edited out all the ums and ahs? Because maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I've never done anything much over an hour. I don't think hour and ten minutes is about my lot. Uh, Tess is talking about jewellery, so she doesn't know what she's doing, but she's just having a go at it. And yeah, Karen says, let's be honest, by the time the jigsaw is done and they realise there's a missing piece, they'll be out of the returns window. <laughs> Never. No, that's not a good thing. Well, of course not. Uh, lots of people in the... In the, oh, sorry, I'm, 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 I've got, I've lost it a bit. I've gone sideways. Everybody's congratulating Catherine. Sasuke says the Les Mis film was great. I've never cried so much in two hours. Saw it twice, cried both times. The second time, I went to the loo at the bit where I knew I was going to cry the most. <laughs> Last thing I got yesterday was this. I don't even know what size it is. It might fit me, but it's not my style. It's Indian cotton. It's got sequins and I don't know what it's got on it. Sequins and embroidered panels and floaty McSleevies and it just goes on and on. Look, there's loads of it. It's just it's just one of those blouse tops with a massive balloon sleeve. That's just the sleeve, that bit there. So hello, Aunt, you're right. Anthony snuck in the room while I was balloon sleeving at you. You come for your videos. DVDs. Videos, I've gone back into the past. Welcome back to nineteen ninety-five, everybody. Did you get a picture? Um, I heard something come through on my phone, but I didn't look. Anthony apparently has also had a reseller bargain today. In that box. She was doing five pieces for a pound, wasn't she? So he's bought 50 pieces of scale electric. Is it scale electric or Hornby? It's Hornby Sport Track. He's bought, it's, it keeps turning around. Yeah, He's bought 50 pieces of Hornby Sport Track and he paid paid six pounds because he haggled himself up for the fiver. <laughs> he said to the lady, how much do you want for all of it? And she said, oh, I don't know, 750. And then he said, I'll give you a fiver. And there was a little girl with him. The little girl went, oh, and he went, OK, I'll give you six. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 65 quid. And it's going to get him about 65 quid. Well, so he's happy with that. <laughs> so, yeah, he's happy with that. Um, Al's Arctic says, does Ant resell? In a very small way, does um, bike parts and things like that. He's not, he buys the occasional thing to resell, but he's not a reseller. In, I don't care particularly whether it resells much. Did you hear that? He says he buys stuff he's interested in, he doesn't care particularly whether it's re massively resellable. And Lex is laughing about floating McSleevies. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Lex Oliver is trying Natalie Bacon, but I can't see Natalie. Is Natalie there? Oh, Laura Eccleston's in. Hi. Why are you shouting Natalie Bacon, Lex? I can't see Natalie. Uh, Chris is off. Have a, a lush day. You too, Chris. Uh, people are chatting about, I don't know. I, I just sit and read the chat. You all chat amongst yourselves. Don't mind me. I just, I've just literally just arrived to set up a chat so you can talk to yourselves and not me. <laughs> Karen says, my little nan went into a home yesterday, but my sis is the assistant manager, so she'll be well looked after. I'm so happy for my poor mum who's been looking after the last three years. It's hard work, isn't it? Your mum will be getting a break now. Oh, and Lex thought Anthony was Natalie. It's a bit worrying. Anthony's the boy. He's the, he's the one with the winky. Natalie's the girl. She doesn't have a winky. That's how, that's how we tell the difference. Also, they tend to wear different clothes and one wears makeup. Natalie, not so much. <laughs> No, Natalie is at work. No doubt complaining about the lack of bacon. Um, so, yeah, I've got... Oh, oh, I've got an eBay message. and I don't know why I'm excited. They're not normally good, are they? Let me have a look at my email. Oh, uh, sorry, Elaine. Elaine says she said hi about for... Hi, Elaine. Sorry, Elaine. Oh, somebody wanted measurements. Okay, well, you can have measurements later. Lex says it's Anthony hot. No, I think it's a fairly normal temperature in Bristol today. How would I know if he's hot? He's my son. He's a very handsome young man. <laughs> I don't know if he's hot. Do I ask, ask Deb Stevens? She knows him. And if she says he's hot, I'll beat her up. Death by Glamour's laughing at Winkies. We're all laughing about Winkies. So, yeah. Um, but hi, French fans. He's very, very small haul and I'm done with it. And I should do listing this afternoon because... Because I should. I've got about 14 parcels to pack, which I normally leave till Monday morning. But there's going to be a car boot tomorrow because it's a bank holiday. So 
If I don't, then I'll, but mind you, oh, I don't know. I don't know. He's gone downstairs, Catherine. And I'm not setting him up with Lex. You'd eat him alive. <laughs> Karen says, my messages seem to be a waste of time, low ball offers or returns. Yeah, there's not, it's not usually good news. I hate doing measurements as well. I know I should. I know I should do them. I hate it. He is single. And we've talked before about whether he has outhouses. His outhouses are my outhouses. You're not having my outhouses. You have to get your own outhouses. <laughs> um, he is skinny. He hasn't got tattoos. And Deb says she can't say whether he's uh, hot or not because she wouldn't be able to look him in the face. He's downstairs. He won't know what you think, Deb. Just whisper. <laughs> Catherine Graham says, yes, Lex would eat him alive and he'd enjoy every minute. <laughs> but, yeah, so I, I, I might do my parcel stuff, but I really ought to do some listing. Listing. Not really. I mean, the cupboard's full again. The cupboard's got a bit out of hand again because I started shoving things out in there out of the way. And now there's stuff here and now there's stuff there. And the boot of the car has got a massive sack of clothes from the charity shop. When I went into my charity shop the other day, I'm hoping this will be a bit of a breakthrough. I spoke to the manager in there a while back and said, cause, and said to him, what do you do with the stuff you don't sell? Do we move it on to another shop or does it go to the rag man? And she said, oh, no, we move it on to another shop. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, when I went in there this Thursday, she was like, you asked me about clothes. She said, I've got two big sacks. I haven't got time to sort through. Do you want them? Well, I ended up getting this. It, was, it turned into one big sack by the time we've combined it. But I paid £29. And I don't know whether it's a good 29 quid worth or not because I haven't really been through it properly. But it could turn out to be a good contact. I'm thinking that I will pick out the best bits and then just sell the rest on as a bundle. So, um we shall see. And also, there's two bags of stuff in the car, in the, in the boot of the car that were free. While we were in the other charity shop yesterday, yesterday, there was a lady trying to make a donation, and they weren't taking any donations because they were too busy. And then she just turned around to me and said, do you want a lucky dip bag? You could always take what you want and then donate the rest somewhere else. And I went, okay. So I've got two, two random bags of I don't know what. I literally don't know what's in there. It might be crap. But it was free. <laughs> Lex is adding Anthony to her list. Karin's got at least 200 items, so let's pull your finger out, Karin. And Missy Moon and my till has not sold, but it is listed. I listed the till yesterday. It has not sold yet, but it is listed finally. It's still sitting there. I don't know if you can, can you still see it. Yeah, still sitting there because I haven't taken it upstairs yet. I took the photos down here in the end, but I will take it up and put it away at some point. So um, you, you want to see what I've got? What, what in the bag? Going to put in the car boot? Anthony? He's gone away. And oh. he's gone away. I'll ring him. He might say no because he might have gone out the back and he might be like, oh, move yourself. But he might not. Well, see, it's it's like watching Noel Edmonds on one of those chat line things. When you're ringing people to see if they pick up at the other end, you go, surprise. It's not going to be anything like that. It's going to be rubbish. Oh, Julie, Julie Hill is going back to the ironing. Hello? Hello. Would you do me a favour? I was, I was going to ask if you'd get me stuff out the boot of the car. Well, it's, it's about, about it's, uh, yeah, I know, but people want to see it. There's one black sack and two bags. That's all I want. Okay. Okay. My boot lid does not fall down on your head. How very dare you? No, it doesn't. No, my boot lid does not fall down on your head. My boot lid does not fall down on your head. Not in this car. That was the last car. Anyway, yes or no? <laughs> Um, what do you want? I'll give you a box of chocolates. Okay, thank you. See you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> Bribe the boy with chocolate. I can't believe this just happened live on the interwebs. Hello. Karen says, you forgot to say you're live on YouTube. Please do not swear. <laughs> and Lex says she needs to make some money because she spent it all on fun this weekend. What kind of, what fun have you been buying, Lex? <clears throat> um, uh, where I'm sorry, I've missed a load of chat. Al's asking, how are sales? They're pretty good this week. I've, I sold a lot of smaller stuff, but doing okay. Mm. Uh, Julie's going off to do the iron. I said that, didn't I? Uh, Lex is making money to pay for the fun that she's purchased. I don't know what fun she's purchased. Cherry Picker's in. Hi. 
Uh, Maria Clark says blackmail. Is that on me blackmailing? No, that's not bla no, it's bribery. Blackmail is if you don't do what I say, I will blah, blah, blah. Bribery is if you do what I say, I will give you blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Karen wants a box of chocolates. Better find him a box of chocolates now, haven't I? Hold the line, caller. Oh, go with legs. Oh. oh, I'm so old. I have to say, the bribery in this house is of a very superior quality because these are Hotel Chocolat. So that's proper, proper high, high level bribery, isn't it? He's coming upstairs. I can hear the rage coming up. One black bag and two carrier bags? There's so much shit. Yeah, but I only wanted the one black bag and the two carrier bags. That's why I said that. And thanks for bringing it, but what, that's why I said those things. Don't throw it at me. He's going to throw it at me. You're live on the internet. I've got witnesses if you murder me. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Hotel Thank you. Chocolat. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be glad of anyway. Oh dear. <laughs> Catherine says, "How do you have chocolates in the house unopened? Because I don't like them. Not I don't like chocolate. Plainly, I do like chocolate. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. But I don't like Hotel Chocolat very much. I don't like fannied about with chocolate. I'm a very pedestrian chocolate lover i like dairy milk and galaxy and ordinary stuff lex lex wants to see if you're good looking lex oliver she's after a young single man but she'd like one with outhouses with outhouses she wants storage i've pointed out that your outhouses are mine but she wants to see what you look like she can't see you from there she can't see you from there because the yeah, corner <laughs> he says you'll have to come round. apparently <laughs> he's gone <laughs> Oh dear, I've lost, I've missed all the chat. Right, Car Carmen's on three sales. She's got 15 auctions ending. Thailand hands off to buy chocolate. Falling on a bruises in Hyphandria. Maria Clark says, tell him to say if you want. I've got other chocolate. I've got a packet of munchies. Um, everybody now wants chocolate. Dev Stevens is after the chocolate. Carrie says Cadbury's all the way. Um, and people are laughing about fat. Yeah, but you know what I mean by fannied about with chocolate? I don't want it to be infused with a delicate essence of blah. Just want fucking chocolate. Chocolate is so good that you don't need to add shit to it. Just give me chocolate. <laughs> Love the sea, hi. <laughs> and Lex says, I am in there. <laughs> uh, Elaine says, I've been ignoring my shops. The sales have been poor, but I'm giving it lots of attention again. I had two nice sales in an hour yesterday. Roller skates bought for £8, sold for 45 That is nice. I do know you love that chocolate, Deb Stevens. I do know that. How's that? It says, any news from the reseller meetup, anyone? How was it? Um, who went? Sue went. Uh, Leah and Claire and Leah, Sue. Uh, Ka I, I want to say Kath Palmer, but that I might be mistaking Kath Palmer for Philippus Bolton. One of those two, anyway. And Tom went, as far as I'm aware. And uh, Elaine sold the Mamma Mia merchandise that she won for. That she the Mamma Mia merchandise that she won sold for £50 within three hours of listing. That's nice. Karen says, if I eat Gillian chocolate, my face goes numb. That's weird. Hi, Chelsea. I couldn't live with that. I couldn't live with not being able to eat chocolate in case my face went numb. Right, this is a handbag that I bought for Mrs M because I've got one and she likes it. She wanted one the same. These are Natalie's old shoes because Anthony's literally bought me the contents of the boot. Okay, so these are the two bags of stuff that I got completely free of charge. And I don't know what's in them. I haven't looked at all. So it's a complete mystery, and it might end just so I'm going in the nearest charity shop. This is um, from Tesco, Tesco blue and white striped hoodie. I would I would probably list that, just because it's coming up hoodie weather and it's a nice colour and pattern. But probably not more than five ninety nine, six ninety nine. But I will probably list it rather than just chuck it further on. Kai's coming to find out what's going on. You're right, mate. You can't get through, can you? We've got some vest tops. These will definitely just go back in the charity shop. Hey, Kaiki. Hello, Kaiki. Guys, come to have a look in the bags. Um, yeah, these are just ordinary strappy vest tops, so they'll probably just go back to the nearest charity shop. It's Peruna, though. Peruna vest top, size 14. It does smell. You are so nosy. This dog's got his head right in the bag. It does smell really 
fresh and nicely laundered. She was obviously good at her laundry, this lady. Uh, these are M&S leggings in a size 16. Again, not bad condition. Maybe I'll do a bundle. Um, Alt Attic missed where the bag came from. Hi, Ryan. Um, while I was in the charity shop yesterday, there was a lady trying to make a donation and they wouldn't take the donations because they were too busy. And um, she just turned around to me and said, do you want a couple of lucky dip bags? You can just take what you want and then just get rid of the rest. And I was like, okay. So I took them. So, um, so yeah, I mean, these are her whites are very white. She's good. She's obviously not got a problem with her laundry. There's a small child swimming costume. It says part-time mermaid on it this is the kind of stuff i wouldn't have picked it up if i were paying for it but maybe, let's say maybe i'll do a bundle that's a george strappy vest top now some of this might be useful for natalie as well because um she wears vest tops under most things most of the year round essentials collection i don't know where that's from that might be primark no it's mns mns plain t-shirt again maybe i'll do a bundle M&S Ladies Bundle, size 14 to 16. If, you know, if, if I put 10 things in a solid for a tenner, it's a free tenner, isn't it? People are talking about being allergic to chocolate, which I could not bear. Karen says, Carla, I sell no good clothing. Tenner a black bag on Facebook, no fees, etc. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't like selling on Facebook normally because I don't like people coming around, not because of anything about my house, but just because they don't bloody turn up. I hate waiting in for people to not turn up. That drives me bonkers. But this is this, so these are not this is not cheapy cheap cheap. That's M and S again. It's a bit wrinkly. Oh, Carrie wants to see the bag from Mrs M. I bought this. I bought myself one from the charity shop for fifteen quid. And when Caroline saw it, she really liked one. And then so when I saw another one, I rang her and said, "Did you like it? And did you like it enough for me to get you one?" And she said yes. So it's a Jules, Jules twin handled bag with free baggage. As if I don't come with enough baggage. It's got a really nice lining, look, stripy lining. So Caroline, Mrs. M and I will have matching handbags, although in fairness, we don't exactly live close to each other, so it won't be um people won't notice. Uh BCP's in and says, Hi Carla, I must admit I've been stealth watching. <laughs> uh, this is another Peruna strappy top. So you know Peruna and Peruna and handbags. What, what, Lex wants a handbag? I'll look out for one for you. We'll all have them. We'll have resellers handbag. We'll be the reseller handbag squad. That one's Peruna again. That one's a bit, it's gone a bit sideways. You know when the seams go a bit twisted? <laughs> That's it. We all want one. We should all, it should be the standard reseller handbag. That's what we should do. We should all get one. Uh, this is, see, I'll probably lose this to Natalie. This is the kind of thing Natalie likes brand called new collection but i don't uh, i don't recognize the brand and it's a bit bobbly it's a bit lagen look isn't it don't tell uh oh that's a point where's sib k it seems sib k for ages what have we done with sib k people lex have you got him in your outhouse uh, this is total mystery like i said i don't even know what's coming out of these bags this one is, this one's Primark. This is the first Primark I found. It's a long line t-shirt. Lex says my handbag says God hates bags on it. <laughs> That's m &S again. Leopard print on trend, according to Lex Oliver. So maybe I'll sell that one. Maybe I'll list that one on its own. Sib, sib chain to a radiator. Yeah, I don't know where Sib K is. I haven't seen it for ages. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, and this is a swimming costume. Now, see, I would buy this if I'd seen this. This is a Mark Dispenser swimming costume. Uh, it's, a, it's a size 18. I would have bought that willingly. It's a skirted swimming cosy. So I definitely would have bought that. Oh, speak of Sib Kane, he pops in. Look at that. We're just missing you, Sib. Sibney Poitier says, did someone just say Lager Look Coachella Cruise Festival Wedding Funeral Crystal and Glam Funk Rocks Candy Love Island Career Wear I Love White uh, summer Beach Holiday Mother with Ride Oversized Retro Wedding Boyfriend Garden Party Summer Boxy 80 Spell Out Breton Boat Blogger Trend Business Steampunk Goth Happy Boho Chic. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Hello, Sib K, and welcome back. <laughs> Apparently, Bum Crack Picker only woke up when he heard my bell go off. It's enough to wake anyone up when my bell goes off, I tell you. Look, Sib K, look how much you are missed. 
They all love you. Where have you been? Explain yourself, young man. I hope you've got a note from your mother to explain your lateness. So there we go. That was the first bag of free stuff. And just the swimming costume alone, I'll be pleased with that. Of that. Pleased with anything if it's free, let's face it. And then in the second bag, we are back into the strappy vest tops. This is uh, a George one. Where have you been, Sib? Explain yourself. I forgot Man Cave. <laughs> uh, this one is Atmosphere again, so that's Primark. These are very on-trend colours, or at least they were for the summer. Maybe this colour's going now. This kind of fleshy, nudie pink. This has got a chiffon sleeve. Is chiffon sleeve and a chiffon trim? Chiffon trim detail, as I would put in my description. Quite like that. Like I said, they're a bit wrinkly where they've been screwed up in a bag, but free. Sib says I've not been well and I'm cruising for negatives in my eBay reselling business. Been focusing on other things. Oh dear, cruising for negatives. Come on, Sib, you can do it all. I believe in you. I want it all. Jim Beam t shirt. Anyone for a Jim Beam t shirt? Bog Man Cave Trend. I'm sorry you've not been well, Sib. Hope you're uh, on the mend. Uh, excess Cedarwood. Cedarwood State is Primark, isn't it? That's men's. That's very screwed up y. Anthony might have that. He likes a slim fit t shirt. Uh, next, Slim Fit again. Slim Fit, Slim Fit Grandad Extra Small. That won't fit him. The Extra Small won't do. I'm buggering up the lighting, aren't I? Every time I hold something up, the camera has to try and compensate. Skinny jeans. They are skinny jeans as well. Look at the waist on those. That's half a leg, isn't it? Primark skinny jeans. Ant is very slim, but he's not slim enough for a Primark skinny jean. Plus, he wouldn't wear them anyway. Karen says, got radio on for 13 plus posted, offered seven, accept or reject. Um, I would base it on how long I'd had it, whether I cared enough about it. If I'd had it a long time and I didn't give a shit about it, I'd take the seven. If I thought it was worth more, I'd, up them, I'd try and up them to ten. Uh, but also, I base it on how well sales are going, because I sometimes think accepting an offer seems to bring some more in. And then we've got pants. Luckily, I'm, I'm feeling quite confident about this lady's laundry because it all smells very nice because I'm now handling pants. Uh, some sort of holiday T-shirt. This stuff is that we're now getting very much into this. We'll just go to the charity shop for rags. I'm not reselling other people's pants. Uh, big sale in Sue Ryder Morton in the Marsh, Gloucester, if any use to anyone. Two times charity shops in the town had big floods in the recent rainstorms and refusing donations at the moment. Yeah, Al's Attic says accept. She, accept. she agrees it brings in the sales. Superman t-shirt. Yeah, some of this stuff is now definitely just straight back to the charity shop. Breaking Bad t-shirt. What was that, Maria? Did I, did I go past a Breaking Bad t-shirt? Pants. Don't know. Oh, the Lost Polios is, is a Breaking Bad t-shirt, is it? Los Polios. Oh, so it is. Los Polios Hermanos. I thought it was just a holiday T-shirt that somebody picked up on the holidays. I don't. What? I've never watched Breaking Bad. So is that worth trying to flog on? Do you think? Maybe. Seventy points here. Thanks, Al. I was listening to the show in the background whilst making cake, but I had to turn up as soon as Lager Look was mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Counted for a tenner because I'm a stubborn cow. What's this S word you mentioned? Which S word? Sales. Sales, that one. Uh, that was just an F and F t shirt. Karen says she sold one of the shirts. So oh, well, I'll bung it on then. Other mothers give birth to babies. My mother gave birth to a guitar legend. Deb, yours for Scott? I'm sure Deb will take that for Scott. Could somebody span a Claire and Leo and let them out? Somebody's put them in spanner prison. There we go. <laughs> uh, pants again. A pair of socks. I don't even know what that is. 
it's getting it's all getting a bit random now some more socks lots of socks loads of single socks hi leah you know you know it's leah's only come in to see sib so this is that's will be coming the sib show because now that sib's here people are like yay sib's here we don't have to listen to carla anymore black top i've stopped folding oh leah's going again she really didn't come in to see us <laughs> night dress <laughs> bye leah nice to see you uh next t-shirt that might do aunt Karen says, who donates socks? Um, apparently they say they are very, that is all lovely and clean. It smells really nice of, like, you know, washing powder. It doesn't, there's nothing unpleasant going on here. But, um, but, yeah, that's going back to the chasm. And motorcycle company, serve and repair, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, the first bag was ladies. The second bag is more blokey. The first bag was better. But who knows? <laughs> who knows like i said this stuff can just go straight back to the charity shop in the first bag i'll see if i can get any joy out of it so we've done that over there and then also in those two bags was this which is sips has got to go lex's basement door closes in 10 seconds run sip run <laughs> A uh, giant magnetic letter case, my first words. Oh, look at that. It's got early learning, early learning flashcards. I see that might sell, mightn't it? The, um, oh, God. It's all going, it's all going horribly wrong. The letter fits into the card and then you drop it on the floor like that. That works really well. Providing you wanted to drop it on the floor. Tyler Zara says, who donates socks? Carla will now. Exactly. I donate socks. Scooby Shacky, how long did Royal Mail hold a parcel for when the customer wasn't in? I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks, maybe. And Deb says, I'll have it. You'll have what? This? The early learning learning your letters, the number of jobby thing? No, didn't it? Look, a big stack of the cards. They're not all the right way up. And then loads of magnetic letters in the in the case. So um yeah. Quite nice. Let me know if you want that, Deb, and we'll uh, we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. But you can have the T-shirt for Scott if you want it, free of charge, free gratis, and for note. Okay, that's yours, Deb. I'll put that on one side for you. And then, and then, this is the big bag of stuff. Oh my God, my room's a state. Bye, Tess. Hold for Charlie. Yeah. Carrie's off to make cake now. Sib started something. <laughs> this is the big round of stuff that I paid £29 for. It weren't out of 29 because she basically, I, I did two piles. I said, this is the stuff that I don't really want, but I will buy if it's cheap enough. And this is the stuff that I would normally buy. She charged me a pound for the stuff that I would normally buy and 50p for the stuff that I didn't really want. So, so this, for example, this was in my didn't really want pile. This is just a crinkly, kind of old ladyish sort of t shirt. But again, maybe I'll do a bundle. Uh, Chelsea Girl at River Island. See, I remember when Chelsea Girl was a standalone shop. Sheer blaze with heart print. This is Burberry. Uh, it's a Burberry, Burberry wool dress, which normally I'd have been like, oh, Burberry. It has got a tiny hole somewhere she did show me the hole before i bought it in case i didn't want it it is tiny it's so tiny now that i can't find it deb's off to make kid with cake with sib i want some cake if people are making cake think of me won't you i want to be the official cake tester there's the tiny hole you see that it really is a really weeny 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 hole down by one of the seams i could put a stitch in it but i'll probably just uh probably just mention it the listing my phone's going boop 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 all the time oh god bear with me a second
secrets for Natalie's birthday. Secrets. <laughs> uh, this one's white stuff. So again, that's something I would have picked up, and I got that for a pound. It's got a side zip. Hopefully, that's open and not broken. Yep, just open side zip. I would have paid a pound happily for that at the boot sale or whatever. So uh, this is Joe Brown's. Again, would have been happily happy to pay a pound for that. That's quite a big one. Lager look, blah 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 de blah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I don't know what size it is. Bear with, bear with, bear with. It is a twenty. Six. So it looks like a 25. I'm sure that's a six. You don't get size 25. So Joe Brown's plus size top. Yeah, this is from the charity shop. This is the stuff that a lady said to me, do you want to buy all this stuff? And I went, okay. And she said, I'll do you a good price. So she, all their prices have gone. So this is stuff that she's failed to sell already. That's a next cotton dress. Um, we don't eat a great deal of red, Deb, to be honest. We tend to put quite a lot in the bin. But thank you anyway. Um, Karen's been off hoovering. Yeah, Tuesday's uh, Bake Off's back on Tuesday. Looking forward to that. And Sue's just got up again. I hope you're not unwell, Sue. I'm, I'm quite happy to uh, accept that you're lazy, but I hope you're not poorly. You've just missed Sib K. He's been and gone again. I don't know what the heck this is, but it seems to have 14 bottoms and no top. It's a River Island dress with a kind of a drapey front detail. See, all of this, this massive bag cost me £29 all in. And whether I want it or not, I don't know. But I th think it was a good idea to just foster a relationship with that lady because the next lot of stuff might be better, mightn't it, you know? This is from a brand called Angie, which is not something I've ever heard of. And it's a long, um, tiered cotton dress. Uh, Cherry Pick says educational stuff sells well and disability aids. I don't have any disability aids, but yeah, definitely, I definitely remember they're worth looking out for. And um, I think I'm just going to start chucking stuff on the floor because this room's not messy enough as it is. <laughs> Missy Moose says I was asked by a friend of a friend if I wanted a couple of bags of baby kids clothing free. Yeah, she's just gone. I've got ten black bags in my front room. Ten black bags. I have triplets. That's going to take some uh, some uh, sorting, isn't it? Manta Ray. Manta Ray is a brand that I always look at and think it ought to do well, but when I buy it, I don't seem to do anything with it. But I know other people do really well with Manta Ray, so perhaps I've just been unlucky with what I've picked up. Yes, Karen, that's what I thought. Yeah. Sue says been to, she's been to four car boots and she was shattered. I hope you've got better weather than we have because ours was cancelled due, due to the rotten weather. I ended up going to Cheddar. Nice sheer chiffony dress from Purple. And it is purple as well, just um, just in case they anybody thought they didn't do purple. Another another brand I've never heard of. This is Herm. Never heard of that one. But that's another maxi dress. I suppose we are coming out of maxi dress season now, really, aren't we? Especially judging by today's weather. This one's a really pretty print. This is... Only H&M, but it's a really pretty, really pretty print dress. Bear with me a second. That's Sibs again. Not Sib K. Sib Sibs. Uh, I've got a new phone, and I don't know where any of my emoji emoticon, emoji little emo, my little people, they're all gone. All my little emojis can't find me thumbs up. There it is. Is that my thumbs up? No, no, that's no, that's something. Else. Oh dear, don't show me that. There we go. <laughs> Catherine Graham's off food shopping, cake and chocolate on the list after this chat. Sorry about that. <laughs> Watch the rest later. See you later. How long have I been burbling? There's 61 people watching me, and I think I've just been talking rubbish for most of that. Uh, 49 minutes. Can we get through the rest of this in about 10 minutes, do you think? If not, we'll just stop. Oliver Bonas. Now, this is the only really, really woo kind of thing. I was like, oh, Oliver Bonas. Oliver Bonas top. Split back. Split back top. So please with that for a quid or whatever. Yeah, the prints will sell too. Uh, Karen got her husband a vintage wooden plane and some leather Clark's boots for a pound. That's nice. Deb, I got a Samsung S8. An S8. Next, all of a sudden, I just made egg and bacon mayo. That's my productivity used for today. This one is Howie's. Again, lots of brands I've never heard of. Howie's. Just kind of like a shirt dress with roll-up and button sleeves. 
Anyone heard of Harry's? Jason Entwistle's off to work Chef not Chef One. Have an awesome day. I knew people would start leaving if I did close. Bye, Jason. Have a great day, mate. <laughs> Another chiffon in numbers. A lot of chiffon in this bag. Uh Pier Rossini. Pier Rossini, very chiffon y floaty, airy fairy farty thing. Karen says I also saw an Oliver Bonus dress in charity shop looked immaculate it was a turn then I turned it around and all the buttons have been taken off. No! <laughs> Al's Attic says she's heard of Harry's but she's not sure how. And Caroline for making lemonade rates Harry's. Oh, okay, that's worth knowing. This is only ASOS. It's one of those um, scuba kind of dresses, that, that weird material. Size 8. Apparently people are, you know, some people. I don't know any of those people. <laughs> I must know one size eight person, surely. Possibly not. Topshop Petite Range again in an eight. Oh, God, the dog's farted and you can't have to tell. That's a long lined dress. I don't think I can't see him. I can just smell the gas that's coming from him. He stinks. Uh, minuet. Again, I bought Minuet once and never did very well with it, so I never bought it again afterwards. Children, children are size 8, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only people I know who are size 8 are about 10 years old, absolutely. This is Oasis. What's this called? This kind of flary, flary end sleevey bit. I know there's a name for that kind of sleeve. But I can't think what it is. I'm still digging in this bag and it doesn't seem to be going down. Sue says Hubby's just put the heating on. It's not October. He must be made of money. And Al's attic said it looks like Harry's is organic cotton, but not mega money. Next Oliver says my feet are a size eight. Mine too, lovey. I have proper size feet like a normal human. And Pump Crack Picker doing little images of the dog farting. I don't know which way's up on this one either. Carmen says the electrician said I may got cut off. Good luck, Carmen. This one's uh mango. Mango collection. I say it's not bad stuff, really. Not bad stuff when you think I paid £29 for all of it. I don't know if I might lose some to Natalie when she starts rummaging. Although it's quite a lot of its dresses. This is only select, so I wouldn't get excited about a select item. Natalie's not a very dress person. Hi, Peter Ray. How are you? Uh, George but a George Maxi dress. Really, I'm making a massive pile. Collection by John Lewis. Fitted work office style dress with pockets. Never underestimate the, uh, the joy of a pocket. Don't know where this is from. Can't see a brand name. Funky little dress, though. Funky little dress. Uh, BHS linen blend. Can't find the label. Somebody's had the label out of it. But yeah, BHS linen blend, shirty, styly thing. Yeah, like I said, it's not all exciting. Some of it I would not normally have bought, but I bought it. But like I said, for the sake of keeping the contacts sweet, really. Um, that's H&M again. I just thought if I buy everything she offers me this time, then she'll think of me next time and put some stuff aside for me. I Sassy. I've never heard of I Sassy, but it's brand new with its tags. Anybody want the black chiffony see-through drapey fanny about number? Oh, it's got a kind of a back... Oh, look, look, look. There we go. It's, it's steampunk. <laughs> it's got button... Button back, so you can gather it in. Can you see that now? It gathers in and buttons at the back there. That's steampunk, isn't it? As soon as you see a button, if it's layers, it's log and look. If it's got a button, it's steampunk. That's 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 the absolute rule. Anybody watching this, I am talking at my butt crack. Okay, I don't. I'm, this is these are not the genuine rules. <laughs> steampunk, steampunk grunge boho hippie, surely. Absolutely. Look at that. That's definitely steampunk grunge grow grow. Grobo, grow bag, steam punch, steam punch grow bag. That's what that is. But yeah, it does up at the back. I quite like that now. And it's got buttons on the side. Oh, well, there we go. And it's still got its tags on. I've never heard of Ice Assy, though. I don't like that. It's Peruna, but I don't like it. It's crinkly. 
Uh, yeah, this is not a bad bag, is it? 29 quid, really. M&S collection. I do like that. It won't fit me. Uh, I don't know where the, where the size label is, but it's not going to say my size. It says small. There we go. That's not my size. Uh, Peter, we are going out Tuesday for the last instalment of the Gromit Hunt. We've got eight left to get. So we're going out Tuesday to get those. I'm having a bit of a mare because my I use the Samsung Smart Switch to transfer all my apps and everything onto my new phone. And although the Gromit app transferred over, the Gromits that I had got did not. So I'm going to have to take my old phone out with me. Mrs. Carroll says, hi, Carl. I'm late. What have I missed? 50 minutes of me talking guff, Mrs. Carroll, basically. But yeah, so Tuesday will be the last instalment. Hopefully the video will go out Tuesday night. And then the last question will be there. And then I will be telling you where to send your answers for the draw. If anybody's remotely interested in winning my um, Gormit giveaway. This is St. Michael from Marks and Spencer. So if it's St. Michael, that means it's fairly vintage, I think, doesn't it? They don't do St. Michael anymore, do they? Sue Erin's in. Hi. Uh, Karen, I got a Samsung S8. Marks and Spencer Petite Linen with Love. Oh, that's still got the charity shop label on. See, they had tried to sell it at zero pounds. It says nothing on there. That's not helpful at all, is it? What did we learn from this? Class? Nothing. Karen says I'm full of guff and I always funny about it. That's me all over that. Uh MS collection. Again, they tried to see they tried to sell that at 450. I think they were stretching a point trying to get 450 for that. Just a t-shirt. But, you know, I'm sure the lady knows best. Roxy. I don't know if you can still get Roxy. You can in the charity shops. So that one was Primark, because I remember looking at it and thinking it's Primark. But it is Flamingos. So, again, mm, Primark, but mm, Flamingos. Flamingos are really in. Flamingos are this season's big thing, aren't they? Uh, Patra. Patra rings a bell. Come on, people. Talk to me about Patra. I know I've heard of Patra. There's the label on that. Have I heard of it because it's rubbish and I don't want it? Or because it's vintage and ancient? Or because my mother used to wear it or something? Why have I heard of Patra? I'm nearly at the bottom of my sack, said Santa. Uh, two. T.U. at Sainsbury's. Kind of flesh-coloured top. This is terrible. The state I've made of this room again. Karen's never heard of Patra. Flamingos and pineapples, whatever that was about this summer, yeah. Uh, select again. Select shirt dress. Roxy's a great surfer brand. Still very expensive. Yeah, really? I didn't realise they were still expensive. Uh, Everyday Essentials, that'll be George again. That's a size 20. Maybe I'll do a size 20 bundle. I don't know. Uh, H and M, H and M kind of circle print. That's quite heavyweight cotton, that one. Uh, Mark Angelo, Mark Angelo, anyone? No, anybody? No, dust? Anybody? No. Oh, Scooby said you said don't patch use organic stuff. Maybe it's not silk. No, it's a kind of a like a like a polo shirt material, you know. Almost air taxi. Let's have a look. It's so a spandex blend, ninety-five percent cotton, five percent spandex on the patra. Next set of Marcangelo might be a vintage prom dress. I've lost him now. I've lost the Marcangelo. I can't remember what it looked like. Was that it? Marcangelo is a top. You crochet. Crochet lace style top. Patra has its own online shop. Oh, lost that one again. I've dropped that three times now. Obviously, wants to be on the floor. That is warehouse. Spangly number. And that is these are the last two. That one really has gone back to the floor again. Apricot. And finally, last but not least. H&M again. So I've got an awful lot of this nude pink colour. This is obviously this Caesar's colour. Crochet boho hippie. Hi, Emily. Oh, dear. 29 quid for that sack full of stuff. But like I said, more about building 
a relationship with that charity shop manager in the hopes that she'll put stuff by for me. More about that than anything else, really. So, yeah, so strange kind of weekends kind of pickups. Car boot poor. Charity shop's fairly good. Random bag of stuff from the lady. Don't know whether I want that or not. Hi, D. So, yeah, fairly odd weekend. Week ahead, I've got parcels to do. Car boot tomorrow. Um, Guamating Tuesday. Don't know what's happening Wednesday. Out with the parents Thursday. Usual kind of week. I'm dying for a wee. Absolutely dying for a wee. Usual kind of week. Must tidy all this up and kind of put it away. And I really, really... Sorry, I keep falling off the chair. Really must do some listing today. Challenge me, people. Don't don't challenge me to more than 20 because I won't do it. But challenge me. I did list the till. No, I didn't go bingo Wednesday. <laughs> I don't go bingo anymore. Uh, but yeah, I did finally list the till. So that was last week's um, promise to you guys. I said I would list the till and I have done that. Although I did forget all about it until yesterday and then go, Ooh, oh God, I need to list the till. So um might do 20 listings today. Drafts and then tomorrow morning. <laughs> Lucy says 19. Lex says I'll do 10 if you do 10. That's a deal, Lex. Definitely. Deb says do it all. Deb, you have no concept of how long it takes to list stuff. None whatsoever. I'm not doing it all today. There is a lot of it and I don't want to. <laughs> and Karen says do 20 listings and do a before and after of the mess on Facebook or Instagram and Karen says 10 listings and she'll do 5 cameras have you still not done those cameras Karen money Mrs Carol says I'm listing and that's why I've missed most of this so I should all be listing while you listen listing while you listen do, 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 do. so yeah stand up go for a wee tidy up the mess Sort the stuff that's just going straight back to the charity shop and put it back in the car. Sue hasn't emptied her car yet. If that's back in the car, then that's in the process of leaving the building, isn't it, then? Um, Dev says, I work eight hours a night. Can't be that bad. It's not about... It's, it's my, my job's much easier than yours. I wouldn't want to do your job. But when you say list it all, I, I no. 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 Not all in one day. Absolutely no. <laughs> uh, Lisa Nerd says, I'd list today, but I can't get into my dining room to take photos. Bought too much at the car boot sale. <laughs> Karen, Karen says she's a kept woman and she doesn't have to work. <laughs> I'm going to tell Mr. Karin. I shall, I, shall, I shall send Darren a message on Facebook saying, do you know your missus says you don't have to do nothing because you earn the money and she can just slack around. Oh, Peter Ray says, I'm just about to pack six DVDs I sold last night for £19.30. What what, what DVDs did you sell, Peter? What were they? Were they uh, not the ones I sold you? You've not profited out of me, have you? <laughs> Fair enough if you have. In fairness, people pay what I ask for. If they can sell it on for more, that's fine. Deb Stevens, don't let me get my spanners on you now. Um, yes, yeah, so... I'm going to put that in a crusade pot into soak for a bit and see if that helps. Stick that in some bleachy water. Oh, most haunted. I didn't know that sells well. Karen says, I hate being a kept woman. I want to match hubby's wage within a year. Here's hoping. I believe that you'll do that as well, Karen, because you seem to be very motivated. Motivation is not something I have a lot of. Nah. Especially not on a grey day. On a grey day like this, I want to get back into bed and put a box set on and ignore the world. Yeah. I might get me sunshine lamp out. Maybe it's sunshine time already. It doesn't look like August out there, does it? You look out the window. I don't know what you've got, whether you've got where you are. But, oh, French Fancy says ketchup cleans the crusade. That's worth knowing as well. But, yeah, when I look out there, it does not look like high summer, which is what, the 26th, 26th of August, it's high summer. That's not what's happening out there. It's chilly. We've had such weird weather. Strange old world. Right. There are still 58 people watching me now discussing what the weather looks like out of my window. So thank you, 57. They're dropping. Dropping like flies. <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I know it's, it's been a funny old, funny old video today because, like I said, not much haul, not much news, not much going on. Uh, Gary Nicholson says, typical bank holiday weather. This is true. Should have expected this for the August bank holiday, shouldn't I? There's such a sad looking magpie sitting up there on that rooftop. He's all sort of Ugh, like that, hunched up and looking sorry for himself. Poor wee soul. 
Yeah, Peter says people still want the most haunted DVDs, even though the series has gone downhill. People want the older ones. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Sue says she's licked the like. Thank you for licking the like. <laughs> So uh, thank you all for tuning in. It's been lovely to talk to you all as always. Um, Lex, if you do 10, I'll do 10, but I might do 20. So let's see if you can, uh, but let me know when you've done your 10. Well, so I'll race you, race you to 10 listings, but I've got to go for a wee first. Karen says Lex has got to go live now. Karen is a bad influence. She does, she motivates herself to do many, many listings and then makes everybody else go live. So they're not doing any work. <laughs> lovely to see you all. Everybody have a good week. Um, Gromit video will be back either Tuesday night or Wednesday, depending on how long it takes to um, edit and upload. And I will speak to you all soon. Take care now. Bye. <laughs>